Hello everyone, it's PC on 8. Today I want to show you the plugin for Trillis Max that I am making. It's auto step for bake. I'm creating this plugin because the preparation for baking tends to be very long, repetitive and boring. But it's still a very important process to have at the end good 3D objects for video games. The first part, naming convention. One of the most annoying parts in preparation for baking is to rename each and every object with the famous underscore low and underscore high. They have to correspond exactly for the software to recognize them and bake them together. Depending on our workflow, we often have either the height object renamed or the low ones, but not both at the same time. So we will have to copy and paste each and every name from low to high or high to low and it's very time consuming. For example, table underscore high, table underscore low. So let's start. Now I'm selecting all my objects. And there is 121 objects to rename. It's time for step 1. Selecting all the objects which need to be renamed. And then simply click on the button. This action is to make sure that all objects are ready for the next part of the plugin. Step 2. Transferring the name properly. In this particular case, I want to transfer the name from my high objects to my low ones. But you also have the low to high button next to it if you need this one instead. For step 2 to work properly, we need to have our underscore high folder visible. Like this, high res object will also be selectable. Now simply select two objects that should match with one another, starting with the biggest objects, and then click on the button. It will automatically transfer the name to the low object and replace the end with underscore low. Our object is now done. As you can see, the high res object disappeared and the low one is freezed. So it is not selectable anymore. Like that, I will have an easier time for selecting other objects. That's also why I choose to start from the side and the biggest object. I will repeat the process, but this time with the keyboard shortcut that I made and I signed to one of the buttons of my mouse. Every time that an object is grayed out, it's an object renamed. Here I have made a mistake and selected more than two objects, so the plugin is showing an error. It reminds me how to follow the process properly. So let's resume our very fast renaming task. For convenience, I will speed up the video. Note that the whole process took me 5 minutes maximum. Now that it's all done, simply click on the step 3, unfreeze all. The first part, naming convention, is now complete. Let's do a little aparté to check our work and see if the plugin did its job right. As you can see, all of the objects are now renamed with the suffix underscore low. The part 2, checking normals, is actually very quick, so I will show you with two different projects. First, let's select the low object and click on the button Smooth them. For each object, it will reset the X form, apply the new modifier Weighted Normal that appeared in 3ds Max 2021, and collapse everything. This task can take a little bit of time to run this course, so please be sure to let it do its job even if 3 this Max seems not responding. If you try to click in the program, Max will crash, so have a bit of patience. Ok, now it's all done. Thanks to that process, it will reveal the quality of the normals and so if there are some mistakes. If some objects doesn't look good like some of mine here in this example, it's because I didn't put enough supporting topology to avoid black areas. If I don't make some changes, it may result in poor quality of bake, or even worse, some huge error like in the case of mirrored topology. Thanks to this process, we can hit two birds with one stone. 
prepare for the bake and have a checking point. In the second example, a candlestick, I will apply smooth them, and it will show me a better result, but still, some minor issues appear. Like on this part, I should insert some supporting topology on the side to avoid this deformation. Of course, the level of supporting topology will also be related to the polygons allowed in this object. So the baking will still look good, but it could be better and I have identified exactly why. Here, let's quickly watch another example of a low object but with better normals. Here is a little bonus I added in the auto step for bake, the clear channel button. Sometimes, it happens that when you export and import your object through different software, a bit of added information comes polluting your channels. To clean 121 objects in just a second, simply click on the button and it will clear the channels 0, 2 and 3. Like that, it should get rid of those irritating pollutions. There is still the ZBrush button for me to explain, but I will do that in a future video. I hope you like this video and I will be glad to hear your thoughts about Autostep for Bake. Thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. Bye.